know, um, I didn't know if this is meant to be another part of the video where other people might be asking questions. So I don't know what type of questions they're going to ask, but uh, one main one is the really sticky problem which you didn't actually name anything before, is um, the medicine that was announced in the paper is in fact cannabis, pure and simple. You can eat it and you can make medicines out of it and you can do all sorts of things. But the reason why it's actually illegal, remember not a single GP in the country could prescribe it, because the, the, the system's corrupted, the doctors know it as well. If this much knowledge is there, if Michelle was able to grow a little plant herself and eat it, it would have actually helped. But if we were doing that, you might also discover, because they've announced that it cures cancer, that there might not be as much cancer. And uh, it might be, just give a choice. If you want to try it, you can. And if you don't, you don't. But the problem is what? So this stuff is known, if you want to look it up, as Phoenix Tears, is one of the main names on it. Um, I myself can't talk about how I'm reacting health-wise because I don't do the same things as other people. Um, lots of people like to smoke cannabis because it calms them down. Very good if you stress. Um, but I have a condition as well. And if I was to eat the same things as Michelle, I'd be able to sit here, do these videos and tell you about it. But if I'm not allowed to do that, I'm afraid I'm in a wheelchair smelling the poop. Yeah. So, I, I, I haven't got an electric chair either. I just want to stay out of that. So. Announcing saying that I haven't said I have or did or anything at all, but my health is um, pretty good at the moment because I'm watching my diet. Everything's about diet. And uh, Marmite is plant extracts with vitamins and I don't know if there are vitamins in it, but things on there. And uh, the other stuff called Phoenix Tears is basically a plant extract. That's all it is. How dangerous it is, is it isn't. It's never killed anybody. You can't overdose on it. So when people are getting depressed or things like that and they go and take a load of pills to kill themselves and they try to stop getting other pills, well, what if they were being treated with something else like cannabis? You might not get depressed, but if you did and try to kill yourself, do you know what would happen? White death. Yeah, uh, white death means you go, oh my God, you fall asleep. And you wake up again alive. So overdosing on drugs is very easy. Overdosing on medicines that our bodies accept isn't. So, if you want to be really silly and go away chucking your, your joints all night long getting off your head, you can do that. But you should be eating it, really. <laughs> yeah. I found when I was taking the, the um, extract, um, I wasn't had cravings. I wasn't um, having to take as much morphine, and I have more morphine going through my body at the moment. Then I think in the pharmacy, I wear the patches, the, 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 the muffin patches. I take four lots of muffin through the day, plus a heavy lot on the morning. Plus all the other medication that goes with it. So is the effect like the morphine then? Is it different? Because morphine, I've experienced that, and basically oh, I couldn't really function as well as you're doing now with morphine. Because I'm used to it. You've got to remember I've been on it now nearly four years. So it builds up? Yeah. An intolerance? So every so often I have to have a little more yeah. to take away the edge of the pain. All kinds of pains are different. And trying to get that place where you've got some peace mm. or some rest where you shut your eyes and without leaving the planet. That balance, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it is mm. that balance. It's um, living your life. Or trying to live a life with cancer and not sitting at home. That where you can't do anything. Well, I found because you've got too much medication going through yeah. you. I found my experience on morphine made you so lethargic you couldn't even bother yeah. eat, wash, do anything. I mean, I have to be fed through a tube in my stomach. That saves time. Well, yet also because I know I'm getting all the nutrients I need. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean with that. But um, when, when you sit in there, and the, the pain, even though I'm on that morph morphine, the pain still gets you. Yeah. It'll catch you. Yeah. It's basically making you detach from the body that's in yeah. pain, rather yeah. than dealing with the pain. Yeah. It, uh, it does catch you. And I found, I'm, I'm not saying it cures all ills, but it did for me give me the rest I, I needed. Mm. So if this was... Actually, say, imagine it is available, 
Um, would you like the choice whether you could take? Because remember, the, the, oh, yeah. you're dying, so you can't come out anyway. Just wanted, so would you look like that as an option? Oh yeah. And is there a single GP or medical practitioner that says that it's not good for you? No. Right. Is there any that will say that it is good for them? No. Right. So it doesn't really exist. Are there any questions from the audience? Oh, I didn't know if you knew this is actually a live show and there's 50 people behind the camera. And, and any questions? Any? Because it is questions and answers. No. What sort of dosage are you on? Right. It's so a thing of rice. You know the length of rice? It's like that on your finger. So that's all you do. So you don't like get a large big blob and spread it? No. Out. That's no. small. That it's can't... that small, like a grain of rice. Well, I think I know a little bit about what's in this stuff because uh, there's 18, at least 18 uh, amino acids. And there's also uh, four different types of amoebas. Now, I didn't even know there were four types. So, in theory, it gives you all the building blocks to repair the body. But one of the most important things is about the pain and everything else. It has, um, well, our body works on endocannabis nervous system, and it, it, it affects that. It tends to change how the brain's working, so it communicates up and down with the body. So, not only is it helping you relax, making you either sleepy, hungry, I can't think what else it does when they're happy. Uh, it seems to have the effect of giving you certain parts there that may or may not be able to repair the body. But I'm just worried about myself in pain because if I'm going down the routes that it's suggested for me, then I'm not going to be able to do this type of thing. And I don't think the, um, the compensation uh, that uh, I should be entitled to will ever come. Because if I don't have to be ill, and Michelle didn't have to be ill, and someone was controlling your medicine and telling you what is medicine and giving you things which every single pharmaceutical company will tell you. There's uh, disposal in the documents that these will have side effects. Right, well, then you agree to take them and those side effects aren't good for you. Chemo is like when they're looking for uh, that chap in Afghanistan apparently who got the twin tags. Yeah, decimate now, he must have been there somewhere. And if you don't kill him, then you just wait, hopefully, the ground and the body will recover but it actually has an effect on cancer sufferers. So stop worrying about five years' time, it will cure it. The medical profession must realise that this has a better effect for some people than morphine. If you're frightened of the law, look at me, I'm in a lot of trouble, I'm always frightened of the law. I can't tell you what I've been accused of just, just lately. That's, that's another story, we'll do that Monday. But if you are scared to do things which you would think are right, who, who's saying that what makes them right? So if everybody is too frightened to actually say what they think is right and wrong, then this is a zombie apocalypse, you, know, you are controlled. If someone's telling you something against your common sense, and it's wrong, and you just go along with it, then you put people like Michelle, maybe myself, I, I don't think I've got cancer, I don't know, because my diet is quite good. Um, and you, really now it's time for people to wake up. This is not just one person in a little shop in Nottingham. This is right across the globe, and people are still trying to keep it secret. Well, cancer's made me a morphine addict. Ooh. Can you get extra benefit for that? No. Oh. I could not come right. off morphine now if I wanted to. Right. Ah, because I know what happens if you come off cannabis, because it's very addictive. You go, oh, I wish I had some more. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I really enjoyed that. But the morphine... Climbing the walls. The work you did tell me that it was addictive. Mm. So I did let you know. They did let me know. Mm. Yeah. But they still keep giving it to you. Yeah. Well, as long as they keep giving it to you. And it's yeah, you, can either su you can either suffer an extreme pain yeah. or you can take this stuff that's addictive. Yeah. There's no alternatives. There is no, no, no alternatives. Whatsoever. Right, well, I don't think I can be bothered anymore. I've got your quick fix. Oh, All right. Then. I thought this was the stuff. I thought you brought us to show us. No. Quick fix tire a tired repair. It'll do the same thing, but I think a bottle like that might last somebody a very long time. Is this going to be for your buggy? Yeah. Alright, let's get the buggy. <laughs> where, where, where can you make donations? Oh, at, uh, it's called the Granby Cafe, and it's number 15 Station Street, right next to a funky little barber shop. So if you want to do a donation, pop in and say so, and we'll just see how quick they can get down this street. Okay? Thank you very much indeed. Michelle. Jonathan. <laughs>